Flashback. So, ito yung ginagamit ko uh, currently. Pero soon, hindi natin masabi, no? Sana makapag-upgrade tayo sa mas magagandang mga items. End of flashback. What's up? What's up? Welcome back sa ating Jello Zone community. Good morning sa lahat sa inyo. Kung hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to hit yung subscribe button below as well as yung notification bell para at least once na mag-post tayo ng bago nating content, ma-notify kayo automatically. So wag na natin patagalin pa. This will be our first ever unboxing experience. At kung ano yung item na i-unbox natin, Ito yung pinakabagong iPhone Pro 12. Huh? iPhone 12 Pro? iPhone 4. Basta yung pinakabagong iPhone sa market. So, watch out! So, ito na yung mga items na i-unbox natin. Yung iPhone 12 Pro, uh, 256GB, para sulit na sulit yung storage. And then, syempre, protection tempered glass afterwards. And then, yung USB-C. 20 watts power adapter. So, ito kailangan nito kasi later on malalaman nyo kung bakit kailangan natin bumili nito separately. Anahin natin dito siyempre sa main unit natin, yung iPhone 12. So, meron siya dito parang ano. Yan. Ooh. Okay, smooth. Smooth lang. Muntik na. Muntik na malagyan. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> so, open natin. Ganda. Ito na. Ito yung bago nating unit. Kita, diba? Tatlo na yung camera nila. Wow! Tanggalin lang natin to, no? Hmm. So, shalin. Pang mamahalin, no? So, balik na siya dati. Dati, ah, yung design niya, naka-rounded siya. Pero for this one, ano na siya, ah, yung solid ah, sides na ulit siya. So, after natin kunin yung unit, good thing din na tayo pinahirapan. So, ito yung unit natin. Yan. Naka-Pacific Blue na colorway na siya. Hindi na tayo pinahirapan mag-unbox kasi once na tinanggal nyo to, ang laman lang talaga niya. Confirmed, no? <laughs> Charger lang talaga. Charger lang. Ang lupet, men. Tapos, ito yung manual niya. Wala na yung mga headset before. At saka yung um, adapter. Kaya sinabi ko sa inyo, ba kung bakit kailangan natin bumili it ng separately. Tapos ito yung pang-open dun sa SIM card na part niya. Ito na yung pinakalaman lang nung, ano, nung, nung box mo. Yung unit mo, yung charger mo na USB Type-C. Tapos yung manual, tsaka yung pampanggal. So yun na. Yun na siya. That's why we need to unbox yung ating USB-C power adapter. 20 watts na siya, meaning fast charging na siya. So, ito, binili ko siya sa Apple Store. Nasa 1,190 din siya. Pero, I think, meron namang available nito sa mga Lazada, Shopee, na mas mura. Pero, just to be sure lang, since bago na lang rin naman yung phone natin, hindi na tayo sa sure yung source. Kasi, minsan, uh, quality A, yung nakukuha natin dun sa mga Lazada, Shopee, online shopping. So, ito. Okay. Wala lang rin naman. Puro manual lang. Ang mahal lang pala talaga, no? UFC Power Sea Adapter. So, iba na siya, no? Iba na siya yung saksakan niya. Compared dun sa iPhone 10. iPhone 10 pa kasi yung pinakalast to. Ayan. Since we're done, and no po ako. <laughs> Since we're done unboxing itong ating unit, which is yung iPhone 12 Pro, for now, I will give you some basic details to help you decide whether you should purchase or not this gadget. First of all, the new colorway niya, which is yung um, Pacific Blue. Possible na maging deciding factor niya siya, especially ako. Ma mahilig talaga ako sa, sa color blue, no? So, possible na yung new design niya maka-help sa inyo na mag-decide na yes, I will need to buy this new gadget ni Apple. And then, at the same time, yung tinatawag natin na A14 Bionic Chip 
on which kumbaga sa manliligaw no right now since Apple has it kumbaga suabi lang yung galawan so yung smoothness nung pagpa-process nung phone would be there you expect that that's one of the upgrades that they did and then another one for the third reason why you should buy this is yung upgrade nila sa camera so right now makakapag-portrait mode ka na when it comes to parang night mode dahil doon sa lidar scanner na tinatawag tapos pinataas rin nila yung quality nung, nung camera like before yung sa iPhone 10 ko wala pa akong ultra wide when it comes to pagbi-video so ngayon meron na so once na nag-vlog ako meron na akong ultra wide na, na view which is a good thing for me uh, for the upgrade and then another one most likely is yung compatibility niya sa MagSafe accessories. So like, meron kasi tayong tiyatawag na MagSafe charger na ipapatong mo lang tong iPhone. Meron na siyang ano, parang magnetic here. Papatong mo lang siya dun sa, sa charger mo and then automatically mag-charge siya. Tapos nakadikit siya since may magnet siya. It will be safe. Tapos meron yun tayong tiyatawag na MagSafe wallet na pag nilagay mo dito, pwede mong ilagay yung mga card mo tsaka yung usual, like yung license mo, etc. Para hindi ka na magdala ng wallet. So kasama na siya sa iPhone mo. And then, yung phone na to is 5G enabled na siya. So, meaning, when it comes to the internet, internet, so, internet talaga raw yung tawag sa amin ng English teacher ko, which is, I think, yes. The 5G, when it comes to the connection, mas mabilis pa siya sa 4G. But, ang pinaka-downside nun, when you use it sa 5G, is yung battery life niya. Since mas mababa yung MAH ng battery life ng iPhone 12 Pro compared sa mga previous iPhone natin, expect natin na mas mabilis siyang maubos pag ginagamit natin siya as 5G. But the good thing here is yung 5G, pwede mo naman siyang i-turn off sa settings. At itong adapter si natin, naka-fast charge na siya. So, mabilis mo maubos yung battery mo, mabilis mo rin naman siyang mag-charge. So, for me, it's not really a big problem. Except na if you will be using yung phone mo sa gaming. Kasi, pag gaming, syempre nakaka-consume siya ng too much energy at doon bababa yung game time mo. So, kailangan mo mag-charge every now and then. As to the negative side, um, dalawa yung nakikita ko dito aside doon sa sinasabi nating battery life which I already mentioned earlier. Number one, of course, costly. Napakamahal ng iPhone. So later, sasabihin ko sa inyo ano nga ba yung dapat nyong i-consider when trying to buy this gadget. Napaka-costly niya. At yung second na item na sinasabi ko for negative side is that hindi pa kasama dito yung earphones mo at the same time yung charger adapter. So, meaning, you need to buy it separately pa if you want to utilize talaga yung full potential ng phone mo. So, si Apple, ginawa niya to as according to the rationale. They have this assumption na meron ka na netong mga to in the previous purchase mo. So, meaning for me, example, uh, iPhone X yung last na, na version ng phone na meron ako. So, ang expectation, meron pa ako ng earphones ko tsaka nung adapter ko dun sa ano, na pwede kong utilize for this one. But the thing is, what if you're coming from a competitor brand like Samsung? So, wala kang no choice. You need to buy it dun sa store nila. Which is, I think, a good marketing strategy ni Apple para ma-increase pa or ma-boost pa yung revenue nila. When it comes to consideration, if you need to buy this iPhone 12 Pro, two things lang yung kailangan mo consider The first one, of course, is yung purchasing power mo. In layman's term, ano nga ba yung purchasing power ng isang individual? If you think na yung cost ngayon ng iPhone is parang mabigat siya sa'yo, baka dapat, for me, hindi mo na siya bilin. Dahil sa mabigat nga siya, kumbaga hindi siya within your budget. At pangit naman, nabibili ka ng item, utangin mo siya, tapos igagrind mo siya every monthly salary mo. Just to have that, tas hindi naman pala siya ganun ka super worth it on your end. So, consider me yung purchasing power mo. Ideally, dapat may excess budget ka for that gadget enabled for you to purchase it. As to the current price na 256 gig na iPhone 12 Pro, uh, when it comes na pinurchase nyo siya kasama nung plan nyo, so for me, kunyari, sa smart. So, that's around 37600 for the 24 months. So, yun yung price niya once na bundled siya with your plan, 2000 plan ni smart. And then, yung 20 watts na USB Type-C natin na adapter, um, ang total niya is around 1,190 sa Apple Store. And then, we have also yung parang screen protector niya nasa around 1,000 din. So, currently, yung kaninang items na pinakita ko sa inyo, sinabi ko nga, it's costly. So, around 40,000 na kagad yung market value niya. 
Tapos, it will would like to purchase more on the accessories like the MagSafe charger para at least may utilize yung feature ng bagong iPhone 12 Pro natin. It's around 2,490, so 25 din siya. And then yung casing natin, siguro kailangan just to protect your phone. Around na sa mga 1,000 to 1,500 din siya. At saka yung leather wallet for the MagSafe also, it's around 3,590. So overall, all in all, nasa around 50,000 yung magagastos nyo. Tapos once you purchase it naman doon sa Apple Store directly, meaning hindi siya bundled with your data plan, nasa around 64,990, so 65,000 yung market value niya. So per month, if you will be doing it installment for 2 years, nasa 2,700 yung parang monthly payment na it will require sa inyo. So guys, please ensure lang na yung you will not purchase anything about your purchasing power kasi if that's the case, do nag-start yung financial devastation na tinatawag natin. Dahil sa kagustuhan nating maging in, sa kagustuhan nating laging bago, hinahabol natin yung technology which is not advisable, magkakaroon tayo ng financial difficulty in the future. Ang recommendation ko, consider your purchasing power first before you purchase or before you buy this new iPhone 12 Pro. And then the second one that you need to consider is of course, ano nga ba yung rationale mo when buying the iPhone? Meaning, saan mo siya gagamitin? Is it for vlogging ba, video? Kasi for sure, there are other cell phones out there na pwede kayong i-utilize when it comes to, for example, um, gagamitin lang, nyo lang siya sa photoshoot. May alamin namang ibang phone dyan na mas mura. Pero, kung yung rationale is for you to buy it dahil, kumbaga, it's your reward for, it. 2020 is really hard reward nyo yung sarili nyo for buying a new iPhone. For me, I think it's okay. Although, we don't consider yung parang financial aspect natin. Pero sometimes kasi may mga binibili tayo for ourselves na even though alam natin mahal, but if we'll give you yung intangible feeling ng happiness, sulit naman yun. I hope this video helped you decide whether to purchase or not the new iPhone 12 Pro. At at the same time, if you would like to have more details about the unit, madami naman sa internet na right now na nakalabas. But for now, that's it. And you have been in the zone with Gel Zone. So see you on my upcoming vlog. And uh, I hope may utilize natin yung holiday season. Stay safe everyone. And then don't forget if you like uh, the content that we have right now, click the like button and then subscribe na rin kayo to my channel. Bye-bye!